<laughs> All right, go get the ball. What are you going to do with the ball? Huh? Okay. Come here. What are you going to do? Enough. Yeah. We gotta go. There we go. There we go. Chase the ball. Bobo! Where's Bobo? Bobo! Come here, Bobo! Come here, Bobo! Come here, Bobo! Had enough? Riley, you have enough? You done? Hey, say goodbye!
The good breakfast, Riley. I started in hamburgers. Little good breakfast. This is my Riley. Oh, my Riley. Riley, you want a little pizza? You're hungry like you eat hot dogs, you have hot dogs today, you have hamburgers, you have pizza.
pizza and hot dogs and peppers. We were having such a good night. We walked around the block, we carried you halfway around. It was too hard for you. And then we came home and had a big drink of water. The doctor is coming in a few hours. He's going to make all your pain go away. No, you're going to finally sleep like you used to, baby. With this video, it will help me to never forget you. Yeah. Okay, you get yourself comfortable. Goodbye, <laughs> right. I love you. His favorite, um, bed is this little one that he will spend the night just going back and forth between the two beds. So, yeah, he's fine to stay in that, in that bed. Yeah. Uh, so I did want to confirm with you guys, you've elected uh, private cremation for Riley and have his ashes returned? Yeah, I, I recently had my hip replaced. In the past I would make it a place in the backyard, mm -hmm. but I can't dig a hole anymore. So he will come with me. I'm going to arrange with the crematory today. The crematory is based up in Boynton Beach, and in theory you would have the option to pick up directly from them. That is the quickest, most direct route. But it is Boynton Beach, and that's not very convenient for you. So if you don't want to do that, his ashes can be delivered to his vet, and you can pick up from there. When would they be ready? Um, it's about two weeks or so if you pick up from the crematory. It's closer to three weeks if they can get it to the vet. I'll pick it up. From the crematory? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to go up to Boynton? Oh, it's Boynton? That's what you said. Oh, I don't know. No, Boynton Beach. Oh, that's far. No, no, let it go to the bed. Okay. And is that Dr. Sobel? Yeah. Sobel? Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, in about three weeks or so, they will deliver his ashes to, to Sobel. Um, and they'll give you a call and let you know they've done so. I will also let uh, Sobel's office know that I have a huge just that they're aware and they can update their records. Do they know, do they know my last name? Is it Luke Kutcher? Yes. Okay. And it's R-I-L-E-Y? Yes. All right. All right. So I do have just the one thing for either one of you guys to sign. Um, yes. You go ahead. Are you to sign it? This is very hard for me. This one's Boo Boo? That's Boo Boo. They get along? Uh, lately they've been, he's been, uh, I don't know why he's aggressive he, with he, me sometimes. He won't go for a walk unless I bring Riley with me. Okay. But when he's in bed, when they're in bed together, they have territory and they growl at each other. <laughs> but, but, growl but the, basically, we go to the dog park and they're inseparable. He, he follows him. <laughs> he follows him and protects this guy. This guy protects him. So, I mean, basically a very happy dog. He's got a strong spirit. 
but I just see that you know he's really struggling. I we, we, I, I took him while you were sleeping. She, he, she, she's at R in the Cleveland Clinic at, um, that night, and I watched some videos about the bucket list. So I know that he likes to take his walk. So he wanted to go for a walk. So we took him, and then it got to the point where he couldn't walk anymore. So I carried him. And put him down and walked him more, and I carried him maybe three times around and let him walk the last part of it. And he was a little confused halfway through, and by the time he got home, he was just completely exhausted. He just couldn't do it. His body's not going to carry him any so this is, this is a good thing to do for him. Yeah, I think if we let it go another month, he will be in really bad shape. I don't know. We're going away on Thursday, and I just didn't feel it was humane to let him. He, he was a, it, with the VIP suites at the kennel, and you know, basically they were insensitive at home. I just didn't think that he would get, he may not get perfect care if it was, if he got the shakes late at night. Didn't want him suffering. So I'm going to do this for Brian. I'm going to give him two injections. The first is going to go under his skin, in the, either in the muscles in his back or his leg. I'll give him a quick feel. But it's like getting a vaccine. But it's a heavy sedative, it's a painkiller, it's a muscle relaxant. It's going to completely knock him out. So he's calm, comfortable, no pain or distress. It takes about five minutes or so to take the full thing. Can you do a whole Yeah, I would recommend that because it'll keep him distracted. Um, so about five minutes or so, he'll be completely zonked out. Once he's at that point, completely out, we'll, we'll lay him back down on his bed. We'll have him on his side so his leg just sticking out. I'm going to shave a spot on his back leg. I'll place a tourniquet. And that's where I'll give him the second injection. Can you put the camera right here? So he just slips into a deep sleep and everything shuts down. So the whole thing is very peaceful. Um, the one thing I will say, if he's a little bit shy with his needles, vaccines, that type of thing, he might not like that first one. So you holding him, I think, giving him a He's hug. been okay in the past. Okay. It's still, like, you, when they're at this point, they don't like to be poked and prod. They keep it cold. So he might respond to that coldness. Does everyone act like you when this happens? Everyone handles it differently. <laughs> still my um, buddy for so long. A few things that you want you guys to be prepared for. His eyes won't completely close. They'll stay partially open, if not wide open. He makes, he may relax his bladder one more time. So if you do have a, a puppy pad or an old towel, something in the bed, it's not a bad idea. We, we thought that when we go to take Boo Boo to the panel that we should take the beds unwashed so they still have rotten scent on it. Do you think that's a good idea? It's hard to say whether it's how they would to it. Put this bed. Do you want it on me or in there? Uh, well, you can put it under you, uh, under him, on you, and then we can move him with it to the bed afterwards. So, um, it, we, we, it's, I think, um, you know, however you guys want to proceed with him, um, you know, whether they fully understand, we're not entirely sure. Come here. Mom, you go home. So, um, whenever you both are all set, I can give Riley. I'll never be ready. Go ahead. You just don't look to work. I can't it. Get off. You, you decide. So, Joel, if you just if you just want to use your use your left arm, give him a big tight hug for this. This is very quick, okay? Here we go. In three, is this three, yep. <laughs> That's it. That's gonna help him feel really good. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys like, once he's completely relaxed, I can make a clay paw print for you as a keepsake for something you like. Oh, but you need to take some of his fur too. I'll take a little lock of his fur as well, as much as you'd like. And you did say it's R I L E Y. Where'd you guys get that name? My daughter insisted on it. They never let me name my own dog. Do you know where she got it? Some dead poet. <laughs> he seems the same. He doesn't even seem like it's doing anything. It takes a few minutes. Right.
Bradley bag of bones. Keep on. Closer to Riley. You know how he always looks at me. Everyone says he's my he's my dog because he loves me so much. You just look at him and you say he loves me. His paw print, this will air dry in a couple of weeks, so you just leave it somewhere where it can't get knocked over. Okay. Mark, do you want to say while he's still alert? He's at this point he's it's knocking out pretty good. Or give me a kiss. That put boop, boop, boop. I gave him a hug. Well, let him boop. Stay goodbye. Goodbye to your brother. He doesn't understand. Pretty relaxed at this point, so whenever you, you're all set, we can put him up. Want to get him up? Yeah. Okay. He's snoring. Come on, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna hold it. Come on, hold it. Marjorie, can you give me a, a cane? You're not gonna be able to get down. I don't care. I need to get down with him. Ha, 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 ha. 
Oh, you shouldn't have gone down. Oh, 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 Go ahead and give me a second version. Joel. <laughs> Tell him when you're ready. You no, know, I get that. You know, Marty, I can't do it. Just when you're ready. No, Marty, you, you, you know, I'll be ready. Tell him, you tell him what to do. Whenever you're ready. <laughs>
Can I take one picture? Baby. Let's see if I can get up. Why don't you just rest, Joel? Rest. It's okay. Let me just get the cane. You want to come Yeah. Yeah, give me one second. Let me catch up. I'm okay. I'm okay. Stays far behind. Boo boo, don't come out. No little. He's gonna start. I'm gonna be okay a little bit. He's gonna start howling. Here, let's turn this. 